Hello, welcome back. This is Lake Tahoe Television News. There have been rumors racing around the internet that three young girls were found murdered behind the high school in South Lake Tahoe. Well, South Lake Tahoe police announced that those rumors are false. Apparently, a woman was walking her dog behind the high school. The leash reportedly got caught around her neck somehow, causing her to pass out. Emergency medical responders said she was fine. But in the meantime, someone posted it as a murder on their social media and somehow morphed into three murders and questions of a cover-up and conspiracy. Police said there were no such murders, no cover-up, and no conspiracy. On June 27th in South Lake Tahoe, there was an apparent exchange of gunfire between a pedestrian and people inside a vehicle. A police investigation determined that three individuals were allegedly involved, 19-year-olds Jahem Barton and Cesar Caro and 21-year-old Jamal Darian. Search and arrest warrants were obtained for Barton and Caro. And on July 27th, Caro was arrested at his residence in South Lake Tahoe, and he was booked into El Dorado County Jail on a charge of attempted murder. Police believe Barton and Darian have fled the area. South Lake Tahoe's three medical marijuana dispensaries have been whittled down to just one store, Tahoe Wellness Center. Another dispensary, City of Angels 2, closed when they were denied a permit to relocate their store. South Lake Tahoe Mayor Pro Tem Tom Davis said that the third dispensary, Patient to Patient, had its operating permit revoked because of code violations. When the owners, Erica and Matt Triglia, appeared before City Council to appeal the revocation, City Council members asked Matt Triglia if he had ever been arrested. Triglia responded he had never been arrested. City Council members then asked Triglia about an arrest report from 2011. Matt Triglia had been arrested and taken into custody in Missouri when, during a traffic stop, law enforcement officers allegedly discovered $85,000 in vacuum-bagged cash and two duffel bags with marijuana residue. Davis said that Triglia responded that he was only taking part in a Homeland Security sting operation, an assertion Davis said was also untrue. With this in mind, the city council decided not to grant the operating permit to the dispensary. A new water shuttle service is set to launch in August on the 3rd in North Lake Tahoe. Stops will include West Shore Cafe, Tahoe City Marina, Garwoods, and the Tahoe Vista Recreation Area. The 30-foot vessel can accommodate 12 passengers and up to 8 bikes. This is a pilot project sponsored by the Tahoe Transportation District. Tickets start out at 10 bucks for adults and 7 bucks for kids. You can call 581-8707 for more information. Now, you may have heard about South Lake Tahoe local and off-road tour guide Sean Riley. This last May, Sean apparently blacked out for unknown reasons, which resulted in a head concussion and suffered another blackout that resulted in a more serious brain injury. Sean can no longer work as an outdoor tour guide, and his medical bills are mounting. A beach bash benefit is being held on August 15th from 5 to 8 p.m. at Zephyr Cove Resort to help raise funds for Sean's recovery. The event will feature a barbecue dinner, live music, auctions, and raffle prizes. Tickets are available at the door, Lake Tahoe Visitors Authority, or online at the address on your screen. From the Lake Tahoe Television Studio, I'm Robert G. Scott.